Welcome to another episode of This Goose is Cooked, where we review books intended for our future generations. Today's book, Look Out Susie Goose, by Peter Horacek, published by Candlewick Press. Look Out Susie Goose is a little too relatable of a read, with a frustrating message. The pictures were crude, but had plenty of color. The book follows Susie the Goose on her walk as she tries to find a quiet place away from her other geese, friends, and family. The book starts with Susie the Goose pissed off about all of the other geese honking and making noise around her. We've all been there before with either roommates or family members who won't shut up when you're trying to do work, study, or sleep. So Susie did what we all would do and went off looking for a quiet place, except instead of staying close to home or going to a friend's place, or at least making sure she had a plan and knew where she was going was safe. Instead, she picks the darkest, most ominous place, a faraway woods, and assumes it will be safe. Well, the woods were definitely quiet, but of course Susie is making all of this noise while she's walking and attracting all of this unwanted attention on herself. And of course, a fox spots her and says, I quote, I spy goose for dinner. She might as well have been put on a platter for this fox. So the fox starts to stalk her. Susie is oblivious and carefree. She says, I quote, I feel so much better now that I am alone. Not once giving a thought to the unsafe situation she is in. Susie keeps going farther into the woods and a wolf spots both the fox and Susie. So now Susie has two predators stalking her. But now not only is she the dumb one, the fox is too. He has no clue the wolf is stalking him too. And he probably could have gotten Susie before the wolf even saw them. Well, all three of these idiots go deeper into the woods, and a bear sees them, and he's got three dishes on his menu tonight, so he starts to stalk all three of them. Susie finally reaches the quiet place she has been looking for. Instead of keeping it quiet, she lets out a loud honk that wakes up a sleeping owl. The owl is pissed. He sees what's going on and comes to her rescue by screeching and scaring off the fox, wolf, and bear. And Susie is like, what's going on? We all knew at least one person like this in college who accidentally wandered off into some dangerous places and needed saving by a frat bro or a police officer. Learning more about the author, he has two daughters. And I'm guessing a situation like this happened to his family. Well, after all of the commotion, Susie finally thinks the woods are scary and dangerous. Uh, duh, you think? So she hurries back home, where she is welcomed by her flock, with no repercussions, and they all go to sleep safe and sound. Is this book an indictment on Susie for being so stupid and putting herself in a dangerous situation? Is it an indictment on criminals in general, saying that usually there's another criminal after the criminal? Or most criminals lack intelligence, which is why they get caught. The book doesn't explicitly say, I do think the book sends the wrong message, that you can be oblivious to a dangerous situation and someone will always be there to bail you out. And for that, I'm going to rate this book a two. I'll have a taste, but then I'll just push it around on my plate to make it look like I ate it. This goose is cooked. Join us Monday through Friday for an in-depth book review.